I'm sure you've all experienced it, where you have like 10 to 20 grams of filament left and you have no idea what to print with it. Well, in today's video, we're gonna give you guys 10 things to print. Our first item is this four gram zip tie. Now, I wouldn't really recommend printing in PLA like I did because it kind of bends and breaks, but if you do it in PETG, it works very well. And this is just really helpful for tying things permanently. The next item is about one gram, and it's this universal valve cap. I'm sure you guys have seen these on bikes and tires, but I'm sure you guys have also realized that they always come off and you always seem to lose them. Well, if you have this little print, you will never have to worry about that ever again. Our next item is this three gram cable organizer for traveling. Usually what we always do is just throw our cables into our backpack and it gets into a big old tangled mess. Well, with this 3D print, you're never gonna have that problem ever again. Super cool 3D print, highly recommend. Our next 3D print is this bag clip that has a compliant mechanism. It works like any other bag clip, but I don't know if you guys ever used bag clips before, but you tend to run out of them because you only have a limited amount in your house. This one works exactly like any other bag clip and attaches super nicely onto the bag. The next item is this spinning top made by Bamboo Lab, which takes about 2.7 meters of filament and 30 minutes of time to print. It's pretty good and most spins last about 40 to 50 seconds. The next item is this PTFE tube organizer, which takes just 0.41 meters of filament and 13 minutes of time to print. It's almost identical to the one made by Bamboo Lab, and when you get enough of them, you could just organize all of your tubes, and it looks really good. Another item on our list is this PTFE removing tool. It's super cheap, costing about 0.3 meters of filament, and only taking about 10 minutes to print. It works super well too. The next item is this filament meter so that you could measure how much filament you have left on your spools. It costs about 3 meters and 30 minutes of time to print. To use it, simply get the reading you get from placing it on top of the filament and beside the edge of the spool. The next item is a fidget toy, specifically a fidget clicker, taking about 2.3 meters of filament and 18 minutes of time to print. Just for comparison, let's hear the difference in sound between the fidget clicker and a normal pen. The next item is a 3D printed coupon, which costs about 1.3 meters and 15 minutes of time to print. Although this gift might be simple, it makes for a really good gift. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate your support. Remember to check out our Maker World and our Instagram, and let us know which of the prints was your favorite in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.